Hey folks, Alan Manic the Hot Rod Hippie here. This is my follow up to my shiny foil ball video. We're gonna go ahead and cut this thing wide open and see what's inside of it. Let's check it out. Halfway through making this shiny foil ball, you can check out the video about making it over here, I decided, man, I really wanna know what the inside of this thing looks like. Does it look like an everlasting gobstopper? Does it look like Damascus steel? All those layers on top of each other, hammered together, forced together, heated up from sanding. What's it look like inside of this thing? I just have to know. There's only one way to find out, so I'm gonna go ahead and find out. So I got my Milwaukee portable bandsaw set up here. I got the Swag Off-Road table on it, so it's good and easy to hold larger objects. And I've got the ball. I'm gonna grab some personal protective equipment, and I'm gonna get to cutting on this thing because I just wanna get into it. There's no reason to waste time. Let's cut this thing wide open. Without further ado. tricked you but this thing is cut in half you want to see the inside of it we'll get to that in just a second this thing was three and three eighths of an inch thick at the thickest point so that was quite a bit to cut through and the blade I had on there was set up for steel it's like an 18 tooth blade it's meant for cutting steel not so much for aluminum so it didn't go as quickly as I might have hoped but that said I've got this thing split ready to see what's inside of this thing let's take a look So that's the inside of the ball that I made. As you can see, what actually seemed to have happened is it formed a crust. So as I was hammering on it, as I was getting it more dense and more compacted in on itself and shrinking it, I was actually only working the outside edge. I wasn't driving it into the middle as much as I might have liked to have been to create the fully dense, compressed ball. The actual middle, the core of this thing is still pretty porous. It's still pretty open. I can actually squish it with my finger. It's actually really impressive how much the outer shell of this thing actually created a crust that allowed the inside to still remain very airy and, and pliable. I mean, the crust of this thing is only about half an inch wide. When I was hammering on this thing, it felt really solid and really condensed. So I'm really impressed by what I'm seeing here. So yeah, that's the inside of a shiny foil ball. Go ahead and drop this video a like if you found it interesting, if you like what you saw. Go ahead, let me know in the comments down below. Is this what you expected to see here? Did you expect to see it more dense? Personally, I am surprised. I expected at least a little bit more dense here. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more content like this every week. Thanks for coming around, folks.